Well, it's the campus round of season two of lessons in marketing excellence. The case study is from Make My Trip. The campus is ISB Hyderabad. We've seen Team Sweetline present here, and now it's turn for the second team MMS scandal. All the best, team. Good evening, everybody. The online travel industry is set to grow to 262.8 billion by the year 2011. More than 50% of India's internet users are currently going online for their travel and information needs. However, for most of the online travel agencies, most of their revenue is currently still coming from air ticketing. Now, all this is data. What does this tell us? Increasing awareness about online travel agencies is a point which is worth noting. But the cause of concern is that most of them are still dependent on airline ticketing, whereas airlines are still pushing their websites more focused. So, Make My Trip should actually look at focusing on holiday packages and hotels. If you look at the competitive landscape, despite tough competition, Make My Trip has 48% of the market share. Now that's good news, but let's look at the holiday segment that we identified as critical. This segment did not grow actually in the year 2009 and 2010 and actually had a marginal shrinkage. Now that's interesting. What is stopping the growth of this critical segment? We should look at the customer perspective for this. We conducted a primary survey with 70 respondents. 52% of our respondents were value seekers. 64% of our rep respondents went online to gather data but only planned their trip on their own. 63% of the respondents considered flexibility to be the most important factor while booking and planning their trip. And it was a lack of flexibility and lack of credibility which hindered them from booking online. We get four insights. First, people are going online but not buying online. They want credibility, they want flexibility and they want value. Now we can analyze all these in four dimensions but we need to prioritize. So how do we prioritize this? I think we should look at it in a staged approach. Phase 1, address the customer concerns and phase 2, look at acquisition and retention. To address the customer concerns and the issue of lack of credibility, we have three recommendations. Incorporate customer testimonials and reviews with package descriptions, just as TripAdvisor does. Secondly, have loyalty points for useful reviews. And thirdly, leverage the power of social networks and allow users to post package choices on Facebook profile. To address the issue of flexibility, what are our recommendations? Firstly, unbundle the packages. Let the user buy something basic and add on to his shopping cart as he goes along, something what Dell does. Then look at upselling based on his purchase patterns as well as customer intelligence. And finally, give per person per night packages that makes the package more valuable for the customer. Now that we address customer concerns, to acquire and retain customers, we recommend a strong and innovative loyalty program and referral system with incentives to both referrers and referees. Now, how do we address branding and marketing? We have simple solutions. Give more visibility to holiday packages, make the language more simple and use the offline channel effectively. However, what's the bottom line? If they have $1 to invest, where should Make My Trip invest it? Focus on making the holiday packages more credible, more flexible and transparent. Focus on making the offerings to the customer best and rest will take care of itself. Thank you. We talked about credibility, flexibility um, and values. When you are doing a marketing campaign uh, and trying to acquire customers, you have to hit with one specific thing in mind. So amongst the three, I am still not clear which one you are choosing actually. We have one program that runs across which actually helps you build the brand, make it credible and transparent which is customer testimonials and reviews. So it gives you the credibility and also, also the flexibility for the user to decide which package to go with. Credibility is most important as long as you have peers which are going to validate people who have already used those packages and going to validate. So adding that credibility factor I believe is uh, the most important part. Do you think of something like an online call center uh, where they could have uh, spoken to a person on telephone which could have helped uh, as well as a concern on this one would have helped? Especially when you are looking at uh, high value or high ticket uh, uh, online um, packages, travel packages, people want someone dedicated. You do not want to call up if you have gone to a particular location and you are spending like 15 or 20,000 rupees. You do not want to call up a customer care and find out if there is something not happening at the right moment. Other than your uh, you know, local uh, person who is going to provide you the service. Do you know that... Uh,